as I do this next dovetail, it still is a dovetail. It still have pins and it'll have tails, and, and the procedure for cutting will be the same. The layout's completely different. But any little thing that I'm doing with my hands, you watch that and see if there's something that you could pick up that will help make your process easier yet. Uh, whether it's just the way I'm holding differently than you are, whether it's where I, the vise I've chosen to put it in for that next cut, and then go back and see how you can incorporate that in to what you do, and then how you might be able to adjust what you're doing to what it is that I'm doing. The next dovetail we're going to do is I want you to see the layout process on how to put together two pieces of wood where you would have one piece of wood that's X thickness and X width to a piece that's thinner and wider. So we need to know how would we do the layout process and the cutting process to put these two together so that we end up with through dovetails. So the first thing I need to do is uh, just kind of imagine what's going to happen here. I've got, um, we'll just set this one over here so that we can kind of see what's going on. We have pins and tails and I'd like for you to do it the same way I do. Uh, I'm going to call this my front piece. So this is going to be my front, and this is still my inside, okay. And this is going to be my side piece, and this is going to be my inside. So I've at least thought of what my front and what my sides are, okay, number one. So I've got pens and tails now identified. Now, since we've got different thicknesses and different widths, I want to have a common reference for the top point. So I want to be certain that this and this are both the top as I do things. Okay, so that's important. And if, if, if both of these are now the top, and this is the front, this is the side, as I open it up, I can kind of get a view of, of the placement of where the two are going to go. Once I get that placement, of where they go. I'm going to do something to help me out a whole lot. I'm going to set it down on the table and I'm going to line up the X on one piece with the X on the other piece in a straight line so they're in the same plane. And then I'm going to equalize my wood in terms of its width. And what I mean by that is just with the pencil I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a mark right here. And I could just put a mark right up against the edge there, and I could do exactly the same thing on the back side, just with a mark. And, and now, all of a sudden, what I've done is in my mind, if I eliminate that part of the board, these two now are on the same playing field in terms of their width. So, so the easiest thing for me to do is to forget that one's wider than the other, because if it's a through dovetail or a half-blind dovetail, one has to fit into the other. And if I've got a common reference as a top point, anything that's bigger than the smaller piece, forget about it. It goes away. It doesn't exist. So let's think for a second about what's going to happen. I made a statement yesterday and today and tomorrow will start to make more sense. Whenever you take your marking gauge and you set it up to one piece of wood, its thickness or its width, or whatever it is that you're setting up to on this piece, it's not so that you can then scribe that piece because it's the information on this piece that you're gathering for this piece. And then when I reset my marking gauge for this piece, it's then to mark this one. So you, you, you don't mark, typically, the piece you've just set up your marking gauge for, especially when you've got different widths and different thicknesses. So I'm going to set it up so that my marking gauge will scribe a line a little bit deeper than the thickness of what this piece of wood is. And I can scribe all the way around this edge. So from there, okay, so there's that piece. And I could verify real quick, this should be, if this piece were to fit in, it should be exactly that same width plus a little, and it is. So that one was correct. So now if I come back, I know that this piece is going to fit into its thickness. So I'll just reset my marking gauge to it, plus a little bit. Now when I scribe this, I don't need to scribe all the way around because remember, this is just my piece of wood here and up. So my scribe line will start with that point.
And I did mark the same line down in the back here. And now if I come back, I am going to darken that in. And with that, I'll drop that into my line. And even sometimes that becomes a, a, an issue. When my pieces go together, there, there looks like there's a black spot between the two or a hole or a gap. And it's the pencil mark. I would not, again, I would not do this on a piece at home, a, a real fine piece of furniture. But here, uh, it really helps you to be able to see better where my lines are when I hold them up. OK? So we've got our pieces. I can just double check my thicknesses now all the way around. I can see that that, that lines up with my pencil mark on the inside. I don't know if I'm holding it right. It lines up with the pencil mark on this piece here. I can see that as this piece goes through this way, it lines up with that line. So I've just verified before I go on. Layout is everything. I know that those two X's are going to go to the top side. Insides match. I'm in good shape. So I've verified by checking out my markings with my scribe lines. The front piece goes first. So I'm going to put the front piece into my vise, and I'm going to draw out my angles. Now, when I draw out the angles, in my mind again, from this pencil mark over here, I have to just pretend like that doesn't exist. So I'll just kind of darken it all in. So that's no longer there. What I've got now is a dovetail, just like we did yesterday. So I can come back. I can set up my angle. And I can use a pencil because I'm going to be sawing this first line. So there's my first angle. There's my second angle. These just get dropped down to the scribe line with a square. And we're ready to cut.